today's video, I'm going to be going into my own personal Google Analytics, YouTube Analytics, and my Pinterest Insights to show you how my business did in the month of September. Let's talk about it. What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, welcome to the winning team. I'm Nikisha and around here I give you tips and tools to build a profitable blog and make more money from home. And in today's video, I wanted to get into my September numbers to show you how well I did and how well I did not do. Okay, we use it all for the purposes of getting better in the future and I wanted to just get right into it. Okay, so September was very different for your girl um flat out i just did not do a lot in september when it came to content creation i will say that um the kids are still in virtual school and i'm not using that as an excuse or anything but girl uh it's a lot i have three little ones so it's almost like a constant helping them at all times throughout the day because even when they know how to do what they're supposed to be doing they're still going to come and get you to ask for help or they're roaming around the house or they're playing or they're the one who got their tablet it's a lot to manage and um uh, i can't say that <laughs> it hasn't affected my productivity because it totally has but obviously my babies come first and so that's what i prioritized um thankfully um my content strategy supports me walking away for a little bit um and so i was able to do that um this month but you know i need to get on it in addition to the virtual school and everything like that i did have a lot of a lot of outside projects that i was working on that also contributed to me kind of falling off on the content creation um piece but that's cool that's why i'm out here doing this and listen it's all good but i do want to say i'm sorry to you guys i'm sorry i'm so sorry because your girl just was not on youtube in september like i don't know what's going on then i have the audacity to think that i was going to be able to do vlogtober girl whoo you got to get it together with your regular content okay um then on top of that what else did i have going on in the month of september oh i got back on instagram your girl is back your girl is back um on instagram if you followed me prior to um youtube you know like instagram was my platform i love i actually still love instagram even though it goes through changes all the time putting people through all these changes girl i just really like it for community building it's really amazing platform for that um and obviously it's popular but when it comes to growing and all that stuff Yes, it does leave a lot to be desired for me. However, I am doing some um, research over there and um, learning a lot of new things that, of course, I'm going to be bringing to you guys. Um, but I'm still, I'm still doing these things, right? But hopefully, by the end of sep uh, by the end of October, I have a little bit more. Um, research and information that i can bring you guys over here so i've been back on instagram we all know that instagram is a time sucker okay which is why i stepped away from it before to come over here and build my youtube channel to, to kind of lay the foundation for my youtube channel um but yeah, y'all know, I just, I like to give y'all a little bit of backstory of what happened. So yeah, that's what happened in September. Like my focus just was in different places, right? It was in different places. It probably really wasn't on my content and creating content. And um, I saw the effects of that. For instance, on the blog, on the blog, I did not create any new content in the month of september none zippity doodah that is not like me that is so ridiculous that is so unacceptable and yeah nikisha get yourself together i don't think i created any new content in september um like i said my focus was elsewhere i was doing sponsored work um i had projects that aren't going live um for a few months and so it really did affect um my content creation over there my page views actually dropped but because i um ended up putting a new theme on my website so you guys know that i was telling you all i was getting a new custom site done but that is gonna take way longer than i expected it to take 
I guess I, I just didn't expect that. That takes like almost a half year basically um, to get done for all the customizations and the things that I want done. But in the meantime though, there are some things that for me was pressing that I wanted to change um, on my site. So I implemented a new theme, right? Um, unfortunately, with implementing a new theme, there are just a lot of... Um, things that you gotta you have to work through or at least the theme that I did that you have to work through um for it not to tank your site speed okay um and site speed really affects your page views like in your bounce rate right so imagine this someone's trying to come to your website and your website is taking seven eight nine ten seconds to load nobody got time for that right they out they're bouncing right and so with a new thing, that's kind of what happened on my site. This new thing slowed down my um, page speed a lot. Um, and so I have been slowly working through those kinks. But like I said, I've been working on other stuff. So I haven't fully done it yet. The goal is to have it done by the end of this week. Um, and if you want to know what your page speed is and what the bounce rate is looking like and all that, you can see the page speed at Page Speed Insights. It's, the, it's a Google tool. I'll put the link here. Um, but this is what I use to kind of see my site speed. And it breaks down a... A uh, list of the things that you can work on to get your site speed together and the things that you need to do and all that stuff and so I'm basically working down that list I may hire that out because I know somebody that's much much better at that than I am um, and go ahead and get that taken care of for me but I wanted to change my template um so I did that it did affect my page views my page views dipped right, uh, down to around 8600 um which usually they're right around 10,000. Well, they were like nine something last month, but typically I'm teetering around 10,000. And so the new template affected that and your girl needs to get back up to where she needs to be. But that's what happened on the blog in September. Now YouTube, my beloved YouTube. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is... <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, L to put it into context, right? Last month's Build Your Blog With Me was only three videos ago. Two videos ago, actually, because the Build Your Blog With Me was the third video. Y'all, I only put up three videos in the month of September. That is absolute trash. That is trash. Let's just call it what it is. That is trash. Girl, my goal is to get two videos a week up. And girl, that's nowhere near. That is nowhere near. I fell completely off the bandwagon in the month of September. Um, and, and there's no excuse for that. There's just no excuse for that. But it is what it is. This is what happens. This is why I document these processes for you guys. To let you know it ain't always perfect. It ain't perfect. Girl, you ain't got to be perfect. You just got to not give up. Because here she is today. Here she is today. I'm hopping back on this bandwagon. I'm actually getting into the swing of things with the virtual schooling. It's getting better. I'm getting a system down. It still ain't perfect. Okay? It still ain't ideal. And it's still a lot. It's still a lot when you work from home and you're used to your children going to school and being able to get things done in a certain way. But that's okay. Um, but despite my falling off, I'm looking at my notes, despite my falling off, I still was able to gain 1,200 new subscribers. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Make sure you share my channel with someone that may find it useful. I appreciate you. Um, 41,000 views, which that dip. I put my hands up on your ears. When I dip, you dip. We dip. That dip. My views went down, obviously. Um, but my revenue actually went up by 5%. So that was very interesting to me. I know why. Um, I have been promoting my videos a lot more. Um, you know, just kind of trying to tell people to go and watch the videos that I already have up. Despite the fact that I haven't put up anything um, new, I, you still can send people to old videos. People like have been DMing me, asking me questions on Instagram. They have a question I answered in a video. Boom, here you go, girl. You know, so... Um, and, and it seems that the videos they've been asking me about 
um, generate me a little bit more income over here on YouTube. So that's probably why the income went up there. Um, but so I actually, despite me not uploading the way I wanted to be uploading, I'm actually not mad at the progress on YouTube. Not too shabby, right? I mean, for me, it wasn't too shabby. It's like my views only dipped by a little. <laughs> um, my subscribers, um, uh, it dipped a little bit, but not that much. And then my income was the same. So I'm not mad about that, but I do need to get back on it for the month of October. And I'll tell you guys what I'm going to be doing there. Um, after we talk about Pinterest list, Pinterest. Okay. So if you follow these build your blog with me's, you already know me and my opinion about Pinterest. Okay. I uh, know Pinterest is where it's at, but your girl is still learning. You know, that's not my platform of choice. Um, so I hired that out. I hired um, someone to manage my Pinterest for me and it's actually recovering well. My Pinterest account, you guys, is recovering well and I have nothing negative to say about Pinterest this month. Are you shocked? Are, are you shocked? I, not that I ever had anything negative to say. Uh, I just wasn't pleased with my results and how things were going over there despite me putting the effort into it. Um, but we, you guys saw this on the last month to build your blog with me. We actually reset the account um, and let everything literally just clear out and then we started from fresh. Um, it looks like the strategy is working well. The page is growing, which it was a shocking um I wasn't expecting that, like, people to start following me. I don't know. I know that sounds, it's probably going to be like, girl, are you serious? I wasn't expecting that. All I want to see is my impressions and my uh, monthly viewers and my clicks to my site go up. That That's my concern. The clicks to my site. That is what I was looking. I wasn't even thinking about the followers, but actually people are following me much more. Um, I think my insights let me look at oh my insights are up to around 74 wait was that the impressions the impressions are at 74,000 and then the monthly unique uh you know what they call it unique people that look at your account girl whatever uh it's up to around 68,000 mind you y'all remember it had dipped really 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 low um and so I think what we're doing is working I know that I probably could amp up um the number of pins that I'm creating because we're not creating that many, but in October, we're going to increase it one just by one additional pin a day um, and getting out some seasonal content. I know I need to do that. So y'all, Pinterest is actually going really, really well and I'm encouraged, right? I'm encouraged to keep going, keep pushing along with it. I'm still not getting the clicks to my site that I want to get, but that's something that we need to sit down and kind of look at me and my um, Pinterest assistant and see what we can do to get those clicks popping. Okay. Now for the plans going forward for the rest of October is I really need to get back on it on my YouTube channel. Like I need to get back on it. I need to get back on it on my YouTube channel, okay? Um, the goal is to put up three videos a week because this already late, girl. This video, right? Girl, I already missed the whole week in October, okay? Um, <laughs> so I want to get up three videos a week so that I can still hit my eight videos that I like to get up on my YouTube channel. So y'all pray for me that I'm able to get these eight videos up. So I'm gonna try to put up three videos a week for the rest of the month so that I can hit that eight videos. It's just a, a goal that I have for myself. Like YouTube is all about consistency, you know, and being regular and showing up and all that stuff. And yes, I fell off and I'm not holding that against myself. I'm not. Yes, I should have done better, but I'm not gonna sit here and sulk in the mistake. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm just gonna get up, dust myself off and keep pushing and get back on it. Um, so the goal for the month is to get up at least eight videos. If I do three a week, that should be nine because there are three more weeks left in the month. Um, you guys with the uh, monthly membership. So I was setting that up. I didn't imagine that that would be just so many thoughts that I had to put into that. So many thoughts. Um, but did y'all tell me that you guys wanted to do, wanted me to do the YouTube um, membership thing? Because when I went to set it up, YouTube was like, okay, only this percentage of your audience actually watches. Everybody else 
is non-audience members who are not subscribed to your channel, which I don't understand why. If you're watching, please subscribe. I will uh, really appreciate that. Um, that's how I grow the channel. Um, so yes, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you are getting value from me. Um, so YouTube was all like, only this percentage of your actual subscribers are watching. So <laughs> we don't know. And I was like, okay, girl, that's something I need to think about. I need to ask them again or whatever. So y'all let me know if you would like this YouTube monthly um, membership to where we could go live together. I can do a live Q&A and everything like that. Because I don't know. Because I said I was going to do it. And then I saw that. And then I started doubting myself and all this. Like, this is something they really know. <laughs> do y'all want that? Do y'all want that? Let me know. Comments below. Let me know. Okay. So, um, the monthly membership, we're not sure about yet. The next thing is, what was the next thing? Oh, the next YouTube goal is I want to hit 22,000 subscribers on the channel this month. That is an ambitious goal. I think I'm at 20. 0.7 right now 20,700 right now I would love to get to 22,000 let's shoot for 22,000 right now if you are a watcher of my channel and you have yet to subscribe go ahead and click on that subscribe button so I can hit my 22,000 um, subscribers this month your girl got goals okay goals help us us to reach them and then I'm going to implement a strategy that I've been thinking about to try to increase that um, ad revenue over here on the channel too you guys know I've been pushing to see that at 1,000 I've been pushing to just see that at 1,000 it would just make me happy that's all it, it just would make me happy just just to see that thousand because you all know how I am every income stream my minimum goal for it is for it to hit a thousand that's always the goal every time I launch a new income stream the goal is always to see that get to a thousand and for me it's like once that revenue stream hits a thousand m mindset wise that's kind of when I'm like okay now it's time to scale it right now it's time to scale it that works let's scale that and let's Let's add on a new stream. Yeah, so I just want to see that get to a thousand. It was just make me happy because that has been my goal since I hopped on YouTube. I'm like, hmm, let's see if I can make a thousand dollars passively in that little income a month. You know, I would love to see that happen. I think I'm close to getting there. The goal for that is to get there by the end of the year. You guys know I'm trying to get to 25,000 subscribers and a thousand dollars in that ad revenue. That's what I want to see. That's not too shabby. You know, I don't know what other people are making. I have seen other people's that do share their income and is they're not making that. So I'm pretty happy um, with the ad revenue that I make over here for the views. What I need to do is work on these views. Okay. I need to work on these views, but that hasn't been the goal next year. Views will definitely be um, a focus for the channel. But right now that's not the focus. Okay. And then for the blog, I want to get back to posting my regular two posts a week over there on my blog. I know that I'm going to do that in the month of October because I have made that a goal. I'm actually going to um, sit here today and um, create some stuff and go ahead and get those scheduled out because that's important. I need to be on it on my blog. That's the space that I own. I do not own social media. That's why I feel it's super important for every business to have a website and a blog that's attached to it um so on my blog i will be back on it this month i'm gonna try my best to do the three posts a week over there as well um so that i can make up for the week that i missed in the month of october so um youtube about to be popping the blog is about to be popping pinterest is about to be popping because i would love to see that i want to get to a hundred thousand um monthly unique viewers over there is that what it is it's unique viewers i love to get that to 100,000 i want to get that that to 100,000 and i want to get my links to my site up by 25% so those are the goals for the month of october we're stepping it up on YouTube with three posts a week for the remaining three weeks of the month. We are hitting 22,000 subscribers and $1,000 in ad revenue. We're putting up three posts a week on the blog for the remaining three weeks of the month. We are getting back up to 10,000 page views on the blog. We are getting our Pinterest unique monthly viewers up to 100,000. Now that's a lofty goal right there, okay? Because I'm only at 68, but 100,000 
darling. I said it. I said it. I said what I said. And that's what I mean. Okay. 100,000 over there. And we are increasing our link clicks by 25%. Okay. Now it is your turn. Let me know what your top three goals for the month of October is down in the comment section below. What is the top three goals? You cannot progress if you do not set goals and accomplish them right so let's be goal setters let's be goal diggers goal diggers not goal diggers because we got our own okay yes so yeah tell me what your goals are for the month of october down in the comments below top three what are the three things that you're going to accomplish in the month of october and let's chat about it if you like this video like it subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye <laughs>